The Muppets. If you watch The Muppets, a lot of people don't know this, but Bert and Ernie are homosexual. It's not a joke. They're literally homosexuals. In the mind of the creator of The Muppets. And it was something that they actually wanted to admit at a certain point to the little kitties. Get them used to Bert and Ernie, they love Bert and Ernie, and then Bert and Ernie come out and tell them, you know why we're living together, right? Now this is a Muppet, it's imagination, but it's very odd for Muslim children, instead of having a family, like a, a mother and a father and thing, there's Bert and Ernie, one of them cooks, where's the, really, one of them is the feminine one, and the other is the masculine one. And your children watching that, and we don't really know the deep implications of a lot of these television programs. And this is not a joke, because these people have psychologists working for them. If you go to Madison Avenue, uh, many of the people that work in advertising agencies have PhDs in psychology. They've literally studied how to manipulate. A lot of the ads that you see are literally, they're not, a lot of times you see people in these contorted positions and things like that. Very unnatural. If you try to imitate some of these ads, seriously, look at them. They're very unnatural, uh, contorted. It all has to do with subliminal of impact. And there's many books written about this. Aladdin. Aladdin has a deep message to children. One of the messages, the most dominant message is you can obey your father and he'll forgive you in the end. Disobey your father and he'll forgive you in the end. The other thing is an undermining of the idea of Sharia. Because the whole film revolves around a law that says the princess cannot marry a commoner. And this has to do with the idea of Sharia, with tradition. You see, so it undermines the idea of tradition because all she keeps talking about is why do I have to follow this tradition? And this is a deep subliminal message to children. When the parents try to instill in them traditional values, they remember a Latin and oh yeah, that's like Princess Jasmine. She had to do this and, and that was, and in the end she didn't do it and her father still loved her. You see, there's a, there's a, a, a commercial in America where they had a soldier He's driving in a taxi to his home, and he's in his nice, shining marine suit, butched hair, and he comes in, and he gets off the car, and you see he's very hesitant and reluctant to go up to the door. And then finally the door opens, and there's this very stern father looking there, with his face frowning. And then he sees his son, and he goes back to the son, and the son looks very apprehensive. And then they both break out in a smile and they go embrace each other. Now, why would they do a commercial like that? Because there are many people who have sons now of the military age who were war resistors in the 1960s. And they don't want their children to go into the army. They don't want them to become part of this military industrial complex. And so these commercials are, and you watch them with football games, that's when they come on, when these young 18 year olds are watching it. So there's deep psychological messages being uh, thrust into the minds of these people that are literally in a hypnagogic passive receptive state, uncritical mode. The uh, Little Mermaid, again the, the daughter betrays the father. The father's this stern, mean person that wants to follow tradition, and the mother goes against him. Again, the same thing happens. In the end, it all works out, everybody's happy. The message is, if you get pregnant and you're out of wedlock, well, your father's going to forgive you anyway. Right? And this is the message that they're giving to children out of these things. So Muslims have to be deeply aware of this, that you're not, it's not this innocent, harmless thing that's taking place. No, there is indoctrination taking place. People have a worldview. The creator of Bart Simpson was interviewed, I read this interview and he said that he was an anarchist that did not believe in authority. And he said, but he realized that the best way to get his views across was to make people laugh. And if you watch Bart Simpson, I don't encourage this, right? But Bart Simpson is all about undermining authority, making fun of the principal, the school, the authority of the school, making fun of the father. It's constantly making fun of the father, what a buffoon his father is. 
You see, so this is what happens. The Goofy Movie, which was a Disney film for children. The film basically completely mocked school and education. And the aspiration of this child was to become a rock star. Now this is something you're taking your little child to see, thinking it's some innocent film by Walt Disney, that great lover of, of children and good, wholesome, clean entertainment. People don't know that Touchdown, Touchstone Productions, which is a pornographic uh, film production company, is owned by Disney. That's how they, they, Disney is for the PG and the G film. Touchstone is for the, the, the films that have pornography and sex and, and, and these type of things in it. So these people have no family values. They have no family, they're only looking for a market. That's all they are. They're looking literally for a market. And they want to uh, commodify the people. And so literally, uh, all these films that they make, you have toys that come out of it, so the children are learn to become consumers.